Welcome to the tutorial on Overview of GNU Plot. In this tutorial, we will learn about the GNU Plot website, important features and capabilities of GNU Plot, benefits of GNU Plot, and user forum. We will also play excerpts of GNU Plot tutorials available on this site. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux version 16.04 OS, Firefox web browser 75 and a working internet connection. To follow this tutorial, learner must be familiar with basic computer and internet skills. GNU plot is a command line driven plotting program in C language. It has several plotting abilities and has a learning curve. Can generate graphs interactively and save the output. Download link for GNU plot is shown here. It is a cross-platform software available for Windows, Linux and Mac OS. It is a copyrighted software and available free of cost. Open the web browser of your choice. Go to the web address gnuplot.info. This is the official site of Gnuplot. The plots on the home page represent few of GNU Plot's capabilities. GNU Plot has a large database of resources and example tutorials. Click on the books link and scroll down the new page. The popularity of GNU Plot can be gauged from the several books available. Go back to the home page. Click on the external links section. The page loads. Notice the many programming interfaces available for GNU plot. Many popular scientific programs also incorporate GNU plot in them. Let's go back to GNU plot home page. Let's scroll down. Click on the gallery of demos link. This page has several types of example scripts. Every link has scripts which generate graphs in various styles. Notice the 2D and 3D plotting along with axis transformation ability. Examples for curve fitting, annotation and applications are also available. Users may also use these links for learning purpose. Learner may use this page for choosing styles and learn the various options. Go back to the GNU plot homepage. Click on the documentation link. Notice that detailed documentation is also available. Documentation is available in several languages. Currently, Stack Overflow and SourceForge have an active GNU Plot user forum. Go to the SourceForge web page on GNU Plot. Notice the two sections on help and discussions. Learner must create a free account and sign in to ask questions. Now, let's visit the Stack Overflow website as seen here. Type GNU plot in the search form on the top and press enter. Notice the questions users have asked in the forum. Here too, learner must sign up and log in. 
to ask questions in the forum. They are seen on the top right side of the page. There are several benefits of using GNUplot. It is widely used by the scientific community and continuously developed and improved upon. GNUplot can perform curve fitting to find mathematical relation between data points. Save the output in various file formats and support plotting backend of other scientific software. Now I will explain about the tutorials created in this series. Here are the video clippings of these tutorials. In these two tutorials, we will install GNUplot in Linux and Windows OS. We will also test the terminal capability of the installed software. The next tutorial explains about example scripts available in GNUplot website and we will load script files to generate a plot. The next tutorial explains about plotting functions using GNUplot, formatting a plot and saving the data points to a table. This tutorial explains about the set term command. We will save the output to an image file and generate an ASCII output. This tutorial explains about plotting data sets from a file, formatting axis to log scale, changing color, line and symbol style and adding title and access label. In these two tutorials, we will write scripts to generate plots. We will generate 3D plots and learn to script graphs in multi-plot mode. The next tutorial in the series is on error bars and data fitting. In this tutorial, the user will incorporate error bars in a graph, learn to perform data fitting using GNUplot, and draw an arrow in the graphical window. The latest and GNUplot tutorial explains about generating tech files with GNUplot. We will learn the path command and generate LaTeX and PDF file outputs of a graph using GNUplot. The next two tutorials explains about plotting large data sets. We will generate statistical summary for a data set, draw a box plot, write a Perl script to generate an outlier file for GNUplot and label outliers in a box plot using a Perl script. Later on, we may add more tutorials in this series. These tutorials will be available on this website. To summarize, in this tutorial, we learned about GNUplot and the GNUplot website Browsed through capabilities of GNUplot and example scripts for users. Visited the user forum and played video clippings of GNUplot tutorials available on this website. This video summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. Please download and watch it. Spoken Tutorial team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Do you have questions in this spoken tutorial? Please visit this site. Choose the minute and second where you have the question. Explain your question briefly. Spoken tutorial project will ensure an answer. You must register to ask questions. 
the spoken tutorial forum is for specific questions on this tutorial. Please do not post unrelated and general questions on them. This will help reduce the clutter. With less clutter, we can use these discussions as instructional material. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by MHRD, Government of India. This is Rani from IIT Bombay. Thank you for joining.